Hello there, M6LME here, and uh, today I'll be teaching you on how to fix some of the common issues that will happen with an RTL SDR dongle. Some of these issues are uh, driver related issues with software, um, and there's been a lot of debates on the forums what actually causes this and how to fix it. And you know, my biggest recommendation is to actually restart your computer. And if you're still having the issue, try unplug the dongle and re-plug it back in. And if you're still facing the exact same issue that the software is not recognizing the RTL SDR dongle, you can go ahead with this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'll be using a software called Zadig. Zadig is a software that will replace the drivers onto the RTL SDR dongle, which will help you reconnect your RTL SDR dongle to an RTL SDR software. So you need to download Zadig, I'll put the link in the description and then what you can go ahead is open it and uh, it'll be a small little box like this, it's a very simple uh, software to use. You can click options and then you need to tick these two boxes at the top, list all devices and ignore hubs. Then what you need to do next is click the box here, in, in my case it says VT3 which isn't an RTL SDR dongle, as I do not have an RTL SDR dongle plugged in at the moment. However, it should bring down a list of all different devices which are on your computer. You might have less or more than me. That doesn't really matter. One thing you'll be looking for in this box is RTL. You're looking for something that's called RTL. Uh, I can't say exactly what it will be on your machine as it differs between RTL SDR dongles and other drivers. It, it, it's you're just looking for something that will be RTL. Now you've got to be very careful using this software because you don't want to replace the drivers on something such as your you know, your mixer, which in my case is VT3, and other related things such as your keyboard or mouse, as, as it will do that. You need to make sure that it does say RTL. And what you do need what you need to do then is click on RTL. I've just clicked on a random one uh, for an example. And then what you need to do is in this box down here. Uh, you can see I've selected Win USB. This exact this needs to be exactly like this. Uh, if it's not Win USB, you can click the up or down arrows next to this. But it hundred percent needs to be Win USB and nothing else. Then what you need to do is click Replace Driver. I won't click Replace Driver as I do not have an RTL SDR dongle plugged in, and I don't want to corrupt some of the devices on my computer. But if you click Replace Driver. It will then replace the drivers which are on your machine for the RTL SDR dongle. Then you can click X on the software, go back to your RTL SDR software, and then hopefully it should work. If not, you can try restarting your computer and replugging the dongle again. And this should try get the drivers working again. If not, it could be a fault with your dongle and you should contact the manufacturer or the place you bought it from. Thank you for watching uh, my video today and you can like and comment. I do read all my comments and I will be producing more videos throughout the coming months. But yep, yeah, thank you very much for watching M6LME. Thank you.